वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल रीड अबाउट फिजिकल वेदरिंग नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी व्हाट फिजिकल वेदरिंग इज फिजिकल वेदरिंग इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज मैकेनिकल वेदरिंग एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन सम अप्लाइड फोर्सेस लाइक ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्सेस एक्सपेंशन फोर्सेस ड्यू टू टेंपरेचर चेंजेस एंड फाइनली वाटर प्रेशर most of the physical weathering is caused by thermal expansion and pressure <clears throat> now let's see what are the various agents of physical weathering they are water ice acids salts and change in temperature all these elements all these agents cause physical weathering Now let's go through some different kinds of physical weathering. Number first, we have unloading and expansion. <clears throat> When you look at a huge chunk of rock, probably the size of a smaller mountain, on the top of it there will be soil. This layer faces continuous erosion as it is exposed to water from rain as well as wind activity. and it get eroded or removed with time however however you <clears throat> will understand this top layer exerts pressure on the underlying rock and due to that the underlying rocks get fractured into sheets so this is <clears throat> the process of physical weathering now the second uh, important process or second type of physical weathering is expansion due to thermal effects or temperature we can say that temperature by uh, saying temperature we mean heating and cooling now with rise in temperature that is when the rock is exposed to heat or sunlight the temperature of rock will increase and the rock will expand because every mineral in a soil pushes against its neighbor and as temperature falls that is after the sunset the rock cools down and contracts to its original size now this continuous movement makes the rock weak as over a long period of time this can be actually caused the molecule of the rock to decay and causes cracks in the rock structurally and not to forget when water enters these cracks it speeds up the process of physical weathering <clears throat> the third important type of physical weathering is due to crystal growth or we can say freezing and frost wedging it is a kind of mechanical weathering caused by the action of frost and ice here what happens water expands when it freezes and repeated cycle of freezing slowly weakens the cycle and integrity of cracked rock it is mostly effective at high elevation where the temperature is low especially in the polar areas <clears throat> fourth and the last type of physical weathering is the salt weathering as we know that salt in rocks expand due to thermal ex thermal weathering extraction <clears throat> that is heat that is heat right we can say that uh, the salts present in the rocks they expand due to thermal extraction that is the temperature that is the heat in the rocks and also due to hydration and crystallization that is when it comes in contact with water as rocks contain a variety of salts and all the salts have a tendency to expand so if a rock is in the desert then due to high temperature of the sun's rays the salts in the rocks will expand and push the walls of the rock 
and hence physical weathering takes place so these are the mechanic mechanics of salt weathering so therefore we can say whatever we read these were all the weathering processes which came which comes under physical weathering thank you